This program is brought to you by RHB and the Star. Madu and you are watching Ours Be The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. In this episode, we will take you to Kelantan Darul Naim where we will see our friends battle it out in science, mathematics and general knowledge. Kelantan, positioned in the northeast of Peninsula Malaysia with the Arabic honour rate of Darul Naim bearing its meaning, the blissful abode truly portrays Kelantan and her people right. Smiling faces greets you everywhere you go. So. Do you think our friends over at the Bahagian Technology Pendidikan Kelantan are smiling or otherwise? Let's see. Today we will see students from all over Kelantan representing their schools in two categories. The lower secondary, F123 category and the upper secondary, F4, F5 category. Each school can send in a maximum of two teams for the challenge. We arrived here somewhere around 7.30 and we came here with our teacher. Uh, by car because our school is just around the corner. Of course, I'm excited uh, to represent my school in this challenge because uh, this is a really prestigious competition and I'm, I look forward to it actually. Today, my mother will be here to uh, watch me compete and support me. Yes, I'm ready for the challenge. Looks like they're all psyched up and can just feel the energy rising. So, Klate, let's do this! In waste, Treatment, wastewater treatment, a mixture of aluminium sulfate and calcium hydroxide is used to precipitate suspended dirt particles. This process is known as The correct answer for question number one is Flocculation 12 of you getting it right, only 12 teams out of 56 The sum of the digits in a two digit number is 12. If 18 is subtracted from the two-digit number, the resultant number has the same digits as the original number, but in reverse order. Your question, what is the original number? And the answer we want here, obviously not B. We're looking for D, 75. Seven teams getting it right. Coffee Maniam wanted to start a fire using sunlight. Which of the following items listed below can best help him to do so? The answer we're looking for is a convex lens. There we go, convex lens. Higher scoring question so far, 22 teams getting it right. A bit of calculation required here. 320 ants can build a nest in 120 days. If 80 of the ants left all of a sudden after completing one quarter of the nest, how long will it take the rest of the ants to complete the nest? And the correct answer we want is 120 days. 13 teams getting it right. C. Kenyat Hitam joined the classical orchestra. He played the largest string instrument. What instrument does he play? And the answer we want is A, the double bass. 24 teams are getting it right. Next question. Winchi Ahmad recently applied for a housing loan and was told by the bank officer that his loan application was successful with an annual interest rate of BLR 0.5% What is the meaning of BLR? Students here taking part in Mighty Minds, a challenge brought to you by RHB and the Star. A banking question for you. The answer we want here, BLR is base lending rate. 
30 of you getting it correct. Mr. Plod, a policeman, monitors the speed of motor cars at accident prone areas with radar guns. Radar guns operate based on the reflection of a wave. Which wave does it use? The answer we want for question number three is microwaves. Microwaves. 12 of you getting that correct. There are three baskets. The first basket contains 12 grams of rice flour. The second contains 12 grams of wheat flour. And the third contains 12 grams of corn flour. If I take three from 12 from the first basket, take all except three from the second and half from the last basket, how many grams of flour in total do I have? Time's up. The answer we're looking for here is A, 12 and a half grams, 12 and a half grams, sir. Huh? 14 teams getting that right. In conjunction with his birthday, our young Deepa Tuanagong conferred the most senior civilian federal title to Harlem in a grand ceremony. State the title. The answer we want is Tun. No? 15 of you getting it right. Tun is the answer we want. A description of a procedure is given below. Step 1. Take 50 grams of carbohydrate Add 150 cubic centimeters of water, a little amylase and maltase. Step 2. Add 10 grams of yeast to the contents. Step 3. Leave the mixture for about 1 to 2 days in a cupboard. What is the purpose of the procedure? Okay, the correct answer is C. To produce ethanol. Just is ethanol. This photo shows a cross-bred animal produced through in vitro fertilization. Which of the following best represents the above animal? The answer, we're looking for the GEEP, G-E-E-P. 22, getting it correct. Rust is a common substance that forms on the surface of iron metal. Which of the following substances is the most effective in removing it? And the answer. We're looking for lime there. 45 of you are getting it right. Best for removing rust. Here's the top 10 list of teams in both categories that made it to the next round. To be honest, we didn't really did anything before the challenge. My team and I prepared by flipping some books, we read some facts and we tried our best to stay calm so that we can figure out what to answer in the competition. My teammates are really cooperative because we uh, know each other well uh, since we are in the same school and we cooperate with each other so that we can actually use each other's uh, advantages in certain aspects uh, to win this challenge. For the F123 category, the teams have to construct the model of a garbage transport system for a house, which features a garbage chute that connects the kitchen directly to the main garbage bin at the front gate. Looks like the students are really in their zone, doing their thing. This is exciting. Judges will then evaluate each model and points will be given. Our presentation will then follow after the judging is complete. We are using the, co the concept of gravity force, which if you put this garbage in, into the car, then it will automatically blow down, which is caused by the gravity force. By using this concept, we can save time and energy when transporting this garbage. And for the F4, F5 category, the teams have to construct a model of a tall tower with viewing decks with seats that can be raised and lowered vertically and rotated 360 degrees at any height to enable users to have a panoramic view of the surrounding area. 
pretty technical, huh? Judges again will evaluate and give points to the teams. It's time for the oral presentation, guys, followed by the buzzer session. The concept of science that we apply to build this tower is based on Newton's law of motion. Okay, first of all, it's like an elevator system where we pull this tray so that the deck will actually move upwards. So when we pull it, we will actually increase the downward force so that the upward force can actually lift the deck upwards.